Hello everyone, I am Lata Jha and welcome to the latest episode of our show Business of Entertainment, your weekly dose of the financial performance of what's buzzing in the world of entertainment, at the movies, on TV and on streaming platforms around it. Now as the fear of creative liberty is being thwarted gains ground, Film producers and studios are also increasingly wary of the business and economic implications of the Cinematograph Amendment Bill 2021 proposed by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting recently, re-examining the films already passed by the censor board and then possibly not passing them could all add to the costs of studios that begin marketing and promotional campaigns several weeks in advance. These films may not even find buyers on OTT platforms that are already scrutinizing content and will certainly not be picked up by satellite television that already prefers U-rated content. Foreign studios that have increasingly seen India as a lucrative market may be discouraged from investing here given the uncertainties. Meanwhile, big film stars across Hindi and Southern language cinema industries are announcing multiple projects as they eye bringing business back to theatres. While Rajnikanth's next film Anathe has been slated for Diwali in November, rival Kamal Hassan has started shooting for a film titled Vikram, also starring Vijay Sethupati and Fahad Fasil even as he is reported to begin a sequel to his 1990s hit, Indian. Hrithik Roshan, meanwhile, has announced two projects recently, Fighter along with Deepika Padukone and a remake of Tamil hit Vikram Veda besides Krish 4. Padukone herself will be seen in a multilingual film along with Bahubali star Prabhas, a remake of Hollywood hit The Intern and a retelling of the Mahabharat from Draupadi's perspective. Ajay Devgan may be compelled to bring his recent film, Bhuj, The Pride of India, on Disney Plus Hotstar, but he has also announced more than five projects, including one that he will direct himself. As far as new web offerings go this week, Disney Plus Hotstar has Hangama 2, directed by Priya Darshan, starring Paresh Rawal, Shilpa Shetty, and Nizam Jafri. This over two and a half hour comedy feels bloated and stretched beyond measure, even for those of us who've endured unfunny Bollywood slapstick comedies in theatres for years. While there is nothing particularly problematic about Priyadarshan staging a series of gags as always, there is nothing compelling enough for you to invest time in it either. Meanwhile, Netflix has another anthology called Feels Like Ishq, starring Radhika Madan, Rohit Saraf, and Amol Parashar. That's all we have as far as entertainment goes this week. We will be back next week with more news and context on all that's fun and entertaining in hopefully better times. Till then, stay safe. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, this video is also available as a podcast on various platforms. Bye.